So on my NVIDIA Shield Pro, I woke up this morning to find adverts on my home screen. Now, I know this has been pending for a while and there was even some debate if this was actually going to happen because everybody kept saying that the NVIDIA Shield is exempt from these home screen adverts. But unfortunately, we can see that when I press the home key, we now have this new layout. And the crazy thing is, I mean, this looks pretty bad where it's like, you know, a quarter of the screen. But look at that. I mean, now on my home screen, the majority of the home screen is taken up by these adverts. I mean, for things like this Disney Luca or, you know, stuff that I'm never going to watch or going to see. Why is that now taking up the majority of my home screen on my device that nearly cost me £200? So, so very frustrating, but fortunately we can quickly remedy this by installing a custom launcher. And here we can see on my NVIDIA Shield now, I've activated the custom launcher. And what that means is I can now fully customize my home screen. I can create custom sections. I can hide applications. And I basically have complete control of my home screen. And of course, with none of those horrible adverts taking over my home screen. Now, the latest version of Launcher Manager, which is only a few days old, means that we can now make this change on our NVIDIA Shield without any kind of manual typing. We also get the widgets enabled by default and all of the standard NVIDIA Shield functionality, like for example, double pressing the home key, works absolutely fine. Using the voice, what's the weather in Tokyo? Works absolutely fine. So all of the functionality from your NVIDIA Shield without any of those horrible home screen adverts. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also follow this process and fully customize your home screen without any of those adverts. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, open up your settings, click on device preferences, click on about, scroll down, and where it says your build number, you want to press the select button here seven times. And eventually you'll see a message saying that you are now a developer. Once you've done that, if you now press the back key, and you're now looking for a secret menu or these hidden options called the developer options. Let's open them up. And just as a word of warning guys, if you don't know what you're doing, do not make any changes to any of the settings in here because they can have a real adverse effect to your device. The only thing we want to do is scroll down and where it says network debugging, you want to enable that. Now, although this video is catered for your NVIDIA Shields, on your normal Android TV devices, you can also follow the process. And if you don't have network debugging, if you just have USB debugging, then you can also just turn that on instead. But on the Shield, just turn this on. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key. And we're now going to use a free application from the Play Store called Downloader. Let's open that up. Now in here we can actually use a special shortcode to get directly to the tutorials page. So let's now type that in, which is just 80650. So type that in and click on go. And this will basically redirect you to the new page on my website. So give that a second and here we are. So here we can see what the home screen looks like. And then we have the step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable the network debugging. Scroll down and we get download just two files to the shield. So the first one is the latest version of the launcher manager, which is this one here. Now, if you are following this process on the Chromecast with Google TV, then make sure you download this version of the launcher manager. So once you've installed that, you then want to download the latest version of Wolf, or if you prefer using the Leanback launcher, you can also get the link for that over here. So in this demonstration, I'm going to focus on Wolf. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And you then want to scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will download the custom launcher directly onto your device. And click on install. Give that a second. We can now click on done. You can now delete the application installation file as it's not needed anymore. And let's now press the home key. And here is the launcher manager. Let's add that in. Let's now open that up for the first time. 
Now again, this is the latest version of this application. It's been completely redesigned. It's ultra simple, but completely takes the ADB commands out of this entire process, including the automatic enablement of the widgets. So all I need to do now is click on enable custom launcher. This will now run the commands in the background to disable the stock launcher and also give you the ability to enable widgets inside the Wolf launcher. Now, once you've done that, we can see on the left now, it says the current launcher is Android system, which means it doesn't have a default launcher set. So what I need to do now is just press the home key on my device. I'm now prompted which launcher do I want to use? So we can see on my device, I've installed the Wolf launcher and I also have the leanback launcher, which is called home screen. But in this demonstration, I'm gonna click on uh, always and we can see it's taking us straight into our custom launcher. And as I mentioned before, all of the stock NVIDIA shield functionality, like double tapping the home key, we can see I can now close these applications down. Similarly, if I want to use my voice, what's the weather in New York? So it just means that even if you have the custom launcher enabled, you don't lose any of this functionality. And similarly, when you reboot the device, it will boot straight into your custom launcher. Now you can see that out of the box, Wolf doesn't look that great, but it's very, very easy to customize. And I will actually link a video in the pinned comment on how you can fully customize this. But typically the first thing you want to do is just go to the top and you want to now press and hold the select key. And this will invoke the menu. So the first thing I like to do is go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper, so enable this option here and click on select wallpaper. Now you can download any wallpaper, 1080p wallpaper using the downloader application and anything you download from there will appear in your downloader folder. So let's click on allow. I click on internal storage and we can see now if I go to my downloader folder, here are some wallpapers that I've uh, previously downloaded. So let's say for example, we want to go for uh, like this one over here, click on that and that gets applied straight away. So now that we have a custom wallpaper, the next thing you probably want to do is create custom sections. So very quickly, again, go to the top, press and hold here, go to launcher settings, go to sections, manage sections. I'm now going to add a section for, and let's just do it for uh, streaming. There we go, uh, click on next, click on apply. So now when I go back, I can press and hold this application here, press and hold the select key, click on move to section and click on streaming. And then similarly, let's uh, also add in uh, this one, move to section. So you can see guys, it really is very, very easy to customize and you can get your home screen looking exactly how you like it. And of course, with none of those pesky adverts. There we are. Uh, you can also tweak the size of these tiles. So uh, these are all in the application section. So again, if I press and hold here, go to launcher settings, sections, applications. By default, it's using a five column width, but I can go to the right and make these mega small. Again, depending on how you like it or the size of your TV, you can make it like that. And lastly, with the widgets, um, if you do install compatible applications, maybe some weather applications, when you click up here, it will show you whichever widgets are supported. Uh, let's just go with this one over here. And that's working straight away. Now, as I mentioned before, you really can customize this and do lots of tweaks. Now, one of the great things about Wolf is, which I have actually covered in a separate video, is once you've got your setup, you can actually uh, click any one of these applications, go to other settings. You can actually back up your configuration, which will then create a folder with all of your settings, your layout, not the actual applications, but just the layout, uh, your custom wallpaper, your custom widgets, all of that can be saved to that folder, which you can then copy onto other devices or other Android TVs where you want to have the same configuration. Now I've already got that folder on my device. So I'm gonna now click on restore. This should now overwrite all of my current settings and go back to my previously backed up version. So here we can see some of the custom sections I created some of my applications. Now, occasionally I have noticed a slight bug where you're scrolling down and it stops scrolling. So the quick fix for that is just double press the home key and go back to home and you can then carry on scrolling. So that, that is a slight bug which the developer is working really hard to resolve. 
But yeah, guys, so custom backgrounds, custom sections, custom widgets, you can hide applications, you can create custom folders and really just get your home screen looking exactly how you like it. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking since this new NVIDIA Shield home screen update on the easiest way we can install a custom launcher. And I do think the process in this video is the best way to do it. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.